Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we're going to check out the Peter Gunn theme. It's a really awesome beginner riff. It's kind of like a finger exercise at the same time and a picking exercise and it's a cool riff. Some of you might know it as the Blues Brothers theme song as well. Very, very popular little ditty, this one, and it's loads of stuff good to learn in it. So let me play it for you first of all. It looks like this. Now, if I was playing it for real, I might use different fingers. I'd probably be more likely to go and just use fingers one, two, and three, because they're a lot stronger. But as a beginner, we haven't got into using our little finger yet, so I want you to have a go at using the fingers one per fret. So first finger's gonna play all the notes in the second fret, second finger's gonna play all the notes in the third fret, third finger's gonna play all the notes in the fourth fret, and little finger's gonna play all the notes in the fifth fret. Okay, now the pattern is going to be open, open, two, open, three, open, fifth fret, fourth fret. Okay, I was talking fret numbers there. Open, open, two, open, three, open, five, four. Okay, that's the, the whole riff. When you first start playing, it ain't going to sound like that. It'll be more to. You know, it's actually, it's really difficult for me to deliberately do it wrong right-handed, but if you want to watch me do it left-handed, there's the videos over on the website, the Nitsudge series, where you can watch me fumble my way through this tune. The trick, the things that is going to help you be able to do it well, first of all, is to try and get your hand in position there, okay? Now, some of you are going to find it really difficult to keep your fingers spread out enough like that. You're going to find it be a bit like this. Try and use the right fingers, even if you have to go here and move. Here, you might end up moving a little bit like that. You don't, it's not ideal. You want to try to get the fingers spread out if you can. So just as a little starting point, first finger, second fret. It's all on the thicker string, by the way. Second finger in the third fret, third finger in the fourth fret, little finger in the fifth fret. See if you can get your fingers to just sit there. You might already find that's like, hey man, that's super difficult for me. I can't do it. It's okay. Practice it through the week. You'll get better and better at it. Even if you can't do it right now, you, you might not be able to do it in a week or two weeks, but you'll be better at doing it if you try. Okay, and there's, like I said, there's a whole heap of things going on here. It's not just about playing the riff. Okay, this is a great finger exercise to be going, using all four fingers. You're getting some little finger action. You're getting used to, with your pick hand, playing the same string over and over again, because it's literally all downs, one and two and three and four and would be the count for those of you who understand rhythm. It's called even eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so getting used to the pick being consistent is gonna be a big part of the exercise. Getting used to using all of the different fingers. Now, some common other mistakes that you're going to find, it's going to be difficult to hit just the one string. You can probably find you go like. And that's okay. Just be forgiving of yourself again. Later on, you'll be able to control the pick better to just play one note. One thing you might find is if you let your first finger kind of rest on the strings a little bit. Here, when it goes, when it's not playing or when it's playing that note, I'm letting the edge of my first finger touch on all of the strings, so it just ends up muting them a little bit. So if they if they were accidentally ringing out, touching them ever so lightly with the first finger, it's going to mute them all for you. So you might find that helpful. Don't worry about trying to do it fast if you're going like this. That's totally fine as well. It's a learning experience. You're going to find this difficult. The idea with me giving you these riffs is to give you kind of nice, recognizable, fun things to do on the guitar, but they're also exercises. Everyone's got something about it that I want you to learn. This idea of picking out individual notes is a really, really important thing for beginners. Learning to keep your timing consistent is important, and then starting to develop your finger independence so that you can control the fingers on the same string is also a really useful exercise. So it's not just about the riff, but it's a lot of fun. 
I don't think I got to the point where I could play it along with the record because it's considerably faster than most beginners are going to be able to do it. Um, if you're worried about how you're feeling about it, then go and check out my lefty video. You'll probably find it a lot of fun, you know, watching me fumbling with it and struggling and how it goes. You'll probably find sometimes you fall off the skateboard, I call it as well, where, where it's going, you're like, yeah, man, I can do it. This is going great. Uh, Oh, what happened to my fingers? And they just, something will go wrong and you just have to stop. That's okay. It's just normal. This is what happens when you're a beginner. Don't stress about it. Don't be all like, oh, I can't do it. I'm never going to be able to do it. I'm hopeless at guitar. That's completely the wrong place to put your head. You just want to be like, yeah, can't do that yet. I'm struggling with it a little bit. That's okay. I'm just going to keep practicing it. Okay. That's the ideal thing for this little riff. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun playing it.